as you walk step by step into the dark and mysterious cavern. The sound of dripping water echoes through the caves as water drips off the stalactites. You all step closer and closer until BAM! A massive eyeball opens in front of you, further into the dark void that is the cavern. Those with dark vision in the group notice this creature is covered in scales. The creature gets up and its scales glimmer in the reflection of your torch. It's a giant dragon! Suddenly, the dragon breathes in, getting ready to attack, and... Dang it! We'll have to continue this next week, guys. But it was getting so good! If I stay up much later, I'll be exhausted at school tomorrow. But don't worry, next session you'll see a lot more than just a dragon. See ya! She goes her own way, like I don't give a damn girl. And my God, she owns it. So many heartbreaks, goes back to 2014. And I think that she knows it. And if you've seen her, I know that you would believe it. Cause I, I know that you'd want her to. Again, I'm so nervous. Like, what do I say? I feel so creepy watching her from a distance. Oh, uh, probably because that is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is. I just... Uh, I don't know what to talk to her about. I mean, you two have a lot in common. You could talk to her about video games or D&D or something else. Wait, you're right. <gasps> Finally, another nerdy person. Maybe since Kaiji's so cool and a massive nerd, people will finally feel comfy letting their nerdy sides out around school. Huh. Kaiji's by herself outside. Maybe you could go say hi to her. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Uh, I'll go give it my best shot. Uh, hey, beautiful. What do you say you come sit with me? Sorry, I'm not interested. Oh, don't worry, babe. I can fix that. Uh... Zenshin. Finish what you have to say, please. Just wanted to make sure Izumi knew how gorgeous she is. See you later, love. See you, thank you. It's so stupid that Zenshin decides to hit on the only openly bisexual girl at the school. Too bad he's such a dick. He's honestly really attractive. Eventually attractive, sure. Attractive personality-wise? Not at all. Ugh. I wish he'd just leave me alone. I have very high standards and haven't dated anyone officially yet. I really don't plan on dating till college. That is, unless... Unless Kenji falls madly in love with you. Shut up, people can hear you! Huh? Oh my god, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Poor girl. Did you see that? S see what? A D&D notebook fell out of her bag. She's one of us. Wait, really? What's been in the closet this whole time? Have you seen her around before? No, never. I'm gonna go check on her. She seems pretty shaken up. How embarrassing. I know, right? <laughs> uh, hey, uh, you okay? 
Is anyone in here? Well, if the girl from earlier is in here, I noticed your D&D notebook and I... What? No, 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 no. Please don't tell anyone. I'll do anything. Please keep it a secret. I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not gonna tell anyone. Don't worry. I like D&D too. Wait, really? <sighs> oh, I'm so relieved. I didn't know anyone else at Aiko High liked D&D. Neither did my friend Denki and I. Uh, speaking of, you wanna come eat lunch with us? Uh, sh sure. Why not? Huh? Hey, you're the new girl, right? Uh, yeah. What's up? I'm Kenji. We've heard so much about you. You're like the biggest mystery on campus. Oh, really? Yeah, you mind if we eat with you? Oh, sorry. I'm actually saving this seat for a friend. Oh, well, too bad. <laughs> maybe tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. Regardless, I'm Akari, and this is Akara. We'll see you around, newbie. <laughs> I know, right? I tried to give her a chance. <laughs> Glad I dodged that bullet.